just a quick video on this Hyundai LCD monitor. There's the frame. It's a Hyundai X93, a 19 inch LCD monitor. Um, problem with it is it has a common symptom of monitors, which is a two seconds to black, although in this case it exhibits itself more as a four seconds to black symptom wherein the monitor will work for about 4 seconds and then the screen will go dark the power LED will stay green though which indicates the monitor is still switched on and with a bright light you can look and you can see that the monitor is still working but the backlight has failed so I had a look at this um, I've done the repair already so I'll just describe what I've done basically um, I think what's happened, I tested the transformers they're both good, they're both 490 or 480 ohms or something so I suspect uh, one of the sets of CCFLs have failed, so there's four in this monitor and one of one pair or both sets have failed. So what I initially tried to do was I cut the feedback trace, and uh, this wire is added later so ignore that for now, but I cut the feedback trace on both. I was hoping that this would just make it stay on, but actually what it caused was the backlight strobed quite rapidly, I guess that's also used for something else. So I patched that wire back in to fix that. Instead, I uh, looked at a uh, data sheet. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, there. Uh, a schematic for another monitor. I think this was a 17 inch. Uh, but it's very similar. It uses the same chip for the inverter, which is that chip, which is an INL837GN. And it's going to be hard for you to see. Let me zoom in on the computer. But basically you see timer pin 14 has a capacitor on it and that timer is what sets the two second to black limit um, sets the time limit so uh, basically a capacitor briefly acts as a short circuit and then becomes open circuit very basically um, so what I did is I just put a solder bridge across it so it acted as a short circuit continuously and this had the effect of um, keeping the backlight timer uh, continuously waiting so even though it is detecting a fault with the backlights it now gives it time to start so what you see when you turn the monitor on from cold is the backlights flicker a few times at the top and then they start so obviously the CCFLs are getting near the end of their life I've told my friend he's going to need to get a new monitor or he's going to have to replace the CCFLs and given the cost of replacing those uh, bulbs about 30 or 40 quid or something for uh, four of them it's just not worth it for a 19 inch monitor you can buy a new one for about 65 70 pounds now um, so we've done this temporary scheme I turned down the brightness in the OSD menu because uh, I've had this fired up works perfectly once the bulb started and even when the bulb fails you can still use it it's just the tops a little dimmer so uh, I turned down the brightness in the OSD menu and now it doesn't flicker when it starts up so I expect I did the same thing my old Xerox monitor. I didn't do this bridge on it, but after about uh, a few seconds it was shut down, but I managed to get into the menus quick enough and turn the brightness right down. And by doing that, I was able to get another 18 months life out of it. So I don't know how successful it will be on here, but if you can get him another year or so on this monitor, it will at least stay out the trash for a little longer. Um, I mean, it's not a particularly fancy monitor, and the build construction isn't great. It's Hyundai, but it's not actually made by Hyundai. Uh, you've got Suscon capacitors there, Tipo, Tipo, you know, nothing special. Um, they aren't the worst capacitors in the world, but they are certainly not the best by a long way, and they have a lot of problems. Um, so that's just a quick video, how to fix um, this. You can apply this to other controllers. You just need to look up the uh, chip, which will be near the backlight area and it will connect through these diodes and capacitors to the feedback pin of it and you just need to look up uh, its timer pin because they all have a timer pin to set the limit unless it's internal but almost all of them do I mean some of them is a resist to set the timing in which case you need to remove that resistor to make the timing infinite but most of them is a capacitor to ground so just shorting out that capacitor will give it an infinite time limit so it won't cut off and the only hazard with doing this uh, is that if the bulb does fail completely you could get arcing and burning in the panel which does run the risk of damaging the LCD panel if it gets too hot but it's not going to be a fire hazard because it will just burn out long before that happens uh, it's, it's more of a end of life thing, it's kind of built in um, almost uh, deliberate <laughs> makes me wonder because they, they do work fine about the two seconds to black feature 
Um, but all monitors seem to have it, so must be a good reason for including it. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the effect doing the disable. Uh, you can see the screen kind of flickers a few times when it's first powered up. Once it's running, there's no flickering at all. So that's pretty much sorted as far as I'm concerned. It will, it will do, it will do the job. Um, I mean, after about a minute or so, the flickering stops completely. Uh, if I really wanted to sort this, I would just disconnect that bulb at the top. Uh, one of the bulbs will be the faulty one, and then it won't flicker at all, but yeah, it, it works, it works well enough, I uh, might have to do that at some point. Uh, incidentally, uh, taking this frame off, because most monitors work the same way, I have to take the front frame off to get into them. Freaking nightmare. So hopefully it'll be easier to take off next time if I have to unplug that bulb. Um, anyway, that's fixed now, so that's something safe in the trash.